Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Well, it sure was a cool day once again, a wet day as well, and not much of a range of temperatures. Our morning lows were actually in the low 50s. Any low temperatures that were in the 40 was yesterday because it was so cold and wet throughout the day. Uh, today, it got into the mid 50s in some areas. You probably didn't notice much, though, because you probably weren't spending much time outside, or if you were, maybe cleaning up a bit from some of those down trees around the area. Uh, and we are going to be seeing things conditions getting better over the next 24 hours or so. Still going to see some showers though on the back end of this, but you can see that heavy rainfall uh, shifting to the south finally, and that is going to continue to move south and eastward. Uh, you can see that snowfall up in the Sierra as well. We'll talk about that in a minute, but here you can see some of those showers that have continued throughout today. Some of that heavy at times, uh, and we are going to continue to see that this evening into the overnight. It's going to get a little spottier in the overnight hours. Uh, still holding on to some steady rainfall up in the Santa Lucia's as well. Even some snow fall possible as we still have some pretty cool temperatures aloft. So rainfall totals for the last 24 hours. So this is from now since uh, 4 p.m. yesterday. You can see over four and a half inches in Santa Cruz, over three and a half in Ben Lomond, over an inch in Salinas. And look at that, down the Salinas Valley even got some much needed rainfall. So these were today's totals. And you know what? I was in here giggling as I was doing some of these totals because some of them were almost exactly double what they were the day before. So uh, that puts us at two and a half inches in Salinas as well as Monterey. Uh, Santa Cruz got more rain today than they did yesterday as well as the Santa Cruz Mountains. 8.71 in Ben Lomond, Big Sur 6.79. Uh, but you know, we we have some different uh, areas that we do retrieve data, data from. So some of these numbers may be different from what that map said. Uh, out at Mount Eminem, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, over seven and a half inches. Los Gatos sitting at 1,800 feet, over nine inches. That was one of the highest totals in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Besides that, a lot of places got about five to eight inches. So uh, we didn't see major destruction there, which we we're grateful to see. A few more inches really uh, would have not turned out well up there. So grateful for that. Soquel and Mount Madonna around five inches. Down in uh, the Santa Lucia is Monterey up on some of the hills over five inches, so different from the airport, about double from the airport. And then up above Carmel Valley around uh, 2,500 feet or so over eight inches, Big Sur as well, eight inches. Chalk Peak down by the San Luis Obispo County uh, border at 15 inches. So you can see where that heavy rainfall set up and it's continuing to do that. Now let's take a look at the Sierra Nevada where you can see all of these dots. Those are snow reports. We had plenty of wind and flooding and debris flow reports as well in our region. But some of those snow reports, 76 inches uh, at Mammoth, and that's over six feet in some areas. So impressive when it comes to that snow, still seeing dangerous conditions up there. So not advised to travel as we saw uh, earlier in the show. Temperatures right now, 40s to 50s, so pretty chilly. Some upper 30s around Big Sur right now. A little breezy as well, uh, south influence for now. We're going to start with a little southeast wind to start tomorrow, and then that'll shift from the northwest. So taking a look at your future cast, you can still see some showers possible uh, for the overnight. Some of those actually could develop into a thunderstorm. We still have some very cold air aloft, uh, so that's not out of the question, and that's where we'd see any gusty wind potential. Besides that, the winds are behind us. Uh, we're just going to see those shifting winds throughout tomorrow, and there you can see some showers, and you see the blue indicating the cooler temperatures aloft, uh, some, some more snowfall accumulating, and finally, we're going to see this clearing out of here, so we're going to get a nice view of the snow on our mountaintops uh, as we go into Friday. Friday looks like a pretty nice day, but as we take a look at your extended forecast, we're watching another system uh, that's going to come your way and kind of linger up in Northern California. So looks like it could be a weak to moderate atmospheric river setup. I know right now we don't want to hear those words, right? But it looks like that hose that we've talked about is going to set up north of us, uh, maybe then move through our area for Monday into Tuesday. So not looking like a major storm system for us. So that's good news. And Northern California needs the rainfall. So we we'll gladly give it to them. Uh, temperatures in the 50s for tomorrow and maybe some 60s for the next couple of days. I uh, want to stress those slight chances I have for Saturday and Sunday. That's really up towards the north. Santa Cruz Mountains, maybe a little shower here or there. But it's Monday into early Tuesday that we could see uh, any chance of some heavier rain and some blustery conditions. But it's short-lived and not going to pack the punch this last system did. Then it'll clear out after that. So, All things good. considered, yeah, that, that could have be been nice. a whole lot And worse, tonight, yeah. I don't know if we're quite going to get a peak of the full moon. We'll start to see some clouds clearing out. But if you do, you'll know what to call it, right? After this, what's the name of tonight's full moon? The dark moon, the rain moon, or the wolf moon? You know, Dan, I should have known Gina was going to be in tonight. She'd be asking us about <laughs> moons. I do it all the time. Yeah. Um, I, I want to say wolf, but 
I'm here in rain, so I'm going to go with the rain moon. It should be the rain moon, whatever it is. It should is. be the rain moon. I thought the wolf moon already happened. Nope, it's the wolf moon. <laughs> but yeah, I thought rain was fun, right? Because we just had our nice fair share of rain. But it's the wolf moon. So is there such a thing as a rain moon? moon? No, no, there's not. I invented it. <laughs> there is now. You just can't see it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. Mm -hmm.